Swadex Aquatics here with another video and in this video as you can see I literally have a jungle in my room. This is an 18 by 18 by 24 Exoterra Vivarium. Well, if you don't know what a vivarium is, first of all, a vivarium is an enclosed ecosystem that houses my plants, uh, insects, um, and animals such as like a frog or a lizard. So in here Currently, I do not have any animals in here, but in the future, I would be looking uh, to put something in this tank eventually. In the comment section down below, please tell me what animal I should put in here. I was thinking maybe a frog or a gecko that live in a rainforest type ecosystem such as this. So, uh, please just comment down below what you think I should put in here. Well, anyways, moving on with this setup, it has these cool front opening doors. It's easy to manage everything inside. So inside this tank, I actually custom built a background and with an incorporated waterfall into it. And so I actually use spray foam and then cut it to the shape that I want for the background. And then I incorporated pieces of rocks and wood to make the waterfall um, really show like pop and show out let the water like trickle down and you see it has this cool trickling effect here and actually once I've done that I covered the whole I covered the background with silicone and once I've done that I use coconut fiber or like eco earth and I covered that all to make it more a natural look. So for the drainage layer um, of this tank I just had some gravel and the reason why I have a drainage layer for all the excess water to seep into um, this layer right here so it won't uh, go into the soil and cause the soil to be all flooded and muddy and sticky, messy. It'll just be like a big mess so like, we don't want that. So all the water goes down here and then I have a pump that is in this sponge filter for the waterfall and it pumps the water in the gravel layer or the drainage layer into and it goes all the way up to this little uh, pipe that I put up here and then it trickles all this water down back into I have made up a tiny pond area where all the water collects and then goes down straight to the filter and then back up so for the plants in here I have a lot of species of plants I have a lot of plant species in here so as you guys see, this plant right here is a pothos plant, and this plant does very well under this waterfall. It um it likes very uh its soil very moist, and so this thing just took off and grew all the way in the bottom of my enclosure here, and it is really cool for like a little ground cover. Oh, so this plant I actually have no idea what this is. Um, if you think you know what this is, please comment down below. I honestly, I don't know. I can try to look it up, but yeah, I don't know what this plant is. On the background, this is a silver philodendron, and this thing has just rooted all the way on the back of the enclosure. It started up in a small area up here, and then it just made its way all the way down and actually stuck itself to the back. So this thing has grown tremendously. And this small plant that is right underneath it, this is a pink earth star. Um, as you see, it has a little bit of pink on it. Usually in a lot of sunlight, this plant, it would be totally pink and it's really cool. I also have another one right next to the waterfall, which actually has like a little pup growing from it. So these big plants on the background of the tank, these are called bromeliads. I'm not sure what species of bromeliad these are, but these things are pretty cool. And as you see, a cool thing about them is that they hold, if I can get a shot, they hold water in between their leaves. And that is why one of my options I was thinking is putting dark frogs in here because they actually love to hide and lay their eggs in between the leaves of bromeliads in the wild. So that would be really cool to add some dart frogs in here. And I just see this bromeliad has a reddish color and because it's closer to the light, so it is really cool how these kind of change color in um, different light sources. 
that small plant in the back right there is that is a wandering Jew and it is really colorful and cool plant so on the waterfall I actually have some java moss growing on it and I also have a little bit in the water feature right there if you can see it and that is doing pretty well it has been growing and drooping off the waterfall which makes it gives and it kind of gives the waterfall its droopy effect which I really like about it so these small plants and these are called Carolina horseshoe plants and as you see it kind of looks like a horseshoe or looking down on it it looks like a horseshoe so I actually collect these from my backyard and they're doing pretty great here I just thought it would be really cool to incorporate these into the tank so this tank is what is known as bioactive which means that it has small um, organisms in the tank that actually eat decomposing matter and as you see here these small little white dots move around these are called springtails and I've added these in here and these guys will just take care of any decomposing matter in the tank uh, any leaves that fall so it's kind of like the little cleanup crew of the tank and it is what makes a vivarium a vivarium pretty much it makes it bioactive so for the care of this tank I would actually for the glass I would, would clean the glass with vinegar and it is a good agent in getting off water marks from uh, the waterfall and I would also spray this tank a couple times a week uh, to make sure all the plants have enough water and the environment stays nice and has a high humidity which is very important for uh, like a rainforest vivarium setup. Pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys once again for watching. Comment section down below. Please make sure to comment what you think I should put in this tank. I really want to hear your ideas. I also have an Instagram in the description box below. Please go and check that out. Of course, please like and subscribe to my channel. It would be amazing to if you would come a part of my wild game. Should I call it wild game? Also, down below, comment should I call it wild game? I don't know. I want to see what y'all think. Anyway, thank you guys once again for watching. And stay wild.